California tries to take credit as a climate leader, but in fact, our emissions have declined slower than the national average. If this proposal goes forward, um, emissions will go up the equivalent of adding 1.3 million cars to the road. Um, it will be replaced by natural gas. There's literally nothing in the proposal that requires that Diablo be replaced by any amount of clean power. In fact, on both of the key elements, it just says, we'll do a bunch of energy efficiency. Now, I think the people in California signed, didn't sign up for that. I think we signed up for clean power, for clean energy that doesn't destroy our beautiful desert landscapes. We didn't sign up for big natural gas leakages, but that's exactly what this proposal would lead to. So I think it's really a testament to how far lost the environmental movement is that so many of these groups have signed off on this deal that would increase methane leaks, increase carbon pollution, make the state incredibly vulnerably dependent on natural gas, including power from out of state. When San Onofre closed, as David Baker was describing, we were 45% natural gas in California. After it closed, we're 61% natural gas. If they succeed with this proposal to close Diablo Canyon, we will become 70% dependent on natural gas. That is a fuel that is just notorious for having huge price spikes. So what we're looking at is a big increase in carbon emissions, big increases in electricity prices, and really, um, I have to say, just the corruption of a basic positive vision that California has had as an environmental and climate leader. <laughs>